Majesty Emperor Ailey last year the first job. Rastafari. Yeah. Yeah. For the strength of fire in my life. Childhood, okay. We um we got polo from you know, small baby. I get polo from I was three and a half years old. Now we got three. Skelly was three. That's two. This was two. And we end up in the same institution for um polo people in that time in, the, in Jamaica, you know. That age it was nice because we just kids together playing, running around, going to school and everything, you know. Until we started to grow up and what was inside started to come out, you know. That, that Rasta spirit inside started surface. I'm in downtown Jaffa. I read about this in the Bible. Yeah, man. You know? Positive vibes, like Bob said. A natural mystic going through the air, you know? Yeah, man. Twice a week. Twi twice a week. Wash this morning. This morning was washed. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> that guy. It's nice. How much, Mr. Cho? Yeah. Israel. 
בעשר היום. בעשר. After you get over your um, certain physical problem and thing, they start sending you out to different uh, children's home where you get different kind of rehabilitation. We, where, you, where you meet um, other kids that don't, that's not disabled. You know what I mean? Like to socialize so. with other people. Yeah. Right there, you know? Whether you're a black man, or whether you're a white man, or whether you're a Chinese man, or whether you're an Indian man, or any color nation man. I and I right here, and I and I out there, and I and I everywhere. We are the Rasta. I always rebel. From early age, I rebel against things that is not right. So they have me as a bad kid. So they, I, I finally end up at Alpha Boy School. I ran away from Alpha because I didn't like it. It was like a prison camp, you know? And uh, I started to live on the street. You know what I mean? Um, and at the age of 14, I was on the street. Don't live anywhere but just on the street. We are the Rasta. While he was out there, I was in the ghetto, Kingston 11, Cockburn Pen area, right? Doing engineering work, working with this firm. I was like at a, a training center, you know? Where I dwell in the tailor in there, you know? We are standing up I return to the Mona Rehab, I return as a Rasta man, you know, chanting jazz, smoking herb, you know what I mean? So to the authorities there, I was a bad influence coming back there. But they told me that we're not going to help you. If you trim your locks and, and stop smoking herb and stop talking about Rasta, then we will help you. If you don't change from the Rasta, we won't help you. So I told him I won't change from Rasta. Rasta Rasta. I am used to the wheelchair sports for Jamaica, you know? like wheelchair basketball and trucks and things, you know. But from the Rasta start shining out now, it's like them say that different vibes. No more sports. One day after lunch, I went back to the sewing department and the machine I was using, it was all covered down, plugged out, pushed one side, you know? And then from there, I used to really not do have no more job and I should leave and, you know? Then it start get rough, you know. Yeah. Standing on the corner, corner, even with your bread tree, you never be no trouble, you never do no harm. Making it cool and calm, and it's soon we are one, 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 one. 
Living God of Israel live for real. Yeah, yes, and the children of Israel did live for real. You know? And blessed be the Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, the God of creation. Yes, I, Rastafari. Yeah, man. <laughs> By the right, you know? My Lord arise and lead us back to Zion. It is time to show your love. Show your love, Lord. Show your love, Lord. Show your love, Lord. For we wait. Show your love, Lord. Show your love, Lord, together. Lord, show your love. Johanna, it's me, Johanna. Oh, my brother. brother. Rastafari. So you see, oh beautiful children of the Most High Jah. There is no end to a good thing right here, yes? Straight. <laughs> I like that. That's what I want to say. I can't believe I see you here. For real, for real, for real. <laughs> He said to us, take off our hat. So when we reach in there, I said to him, how you don't take off your hat? He said, I am the priest. So I said to him, I am the prophet. He said, prophet who? I said, prophet Rasta. Priest who? And he shut up, he can't answer. We are the prophets in this time. They are the priests who blaspheme and kill Christ and put him in that place. And now they stand up inside here trying to tell us how to move, when to move. You know what I mean? What do we are going there and all of this shit? And him have on his hat in there. Love, love. 
I got you quite a period of many different things before the three of us come together again. You see, every you know? man got through individual tribulation. When we finally start to function together, communicating in the bush, like we used to go down in the bush and just sit and smoke and read cook Bible together, cook and some food, and, and, and when the belly full, we just sing, sing, sing. Sometimes we don't have no food, we're hungry. We just sit and sing, sing, sing. Sing to the birds, sing to the trees, sing to the sing. animals. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? I like making a joyful noise unto Jah. Yeah. <laughs> See it. And people used to pass through the bush. They use the bush as a pathway. So when they pass in the bush, they always hear us singing in the bush. So in the evening hours when people coming from work and walking through the bush, they would stop and listen to us. They would form like a little crowd, a little audience. And they would listen to us singing in the bush. And at the end of each song, they would clap. In the bush every day just singing 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 you know what i mean and they start to give us encouragement that you know we should go out there and try to make some records so we start to try out now and start to check record shops to see if we can get a record deal you know what i mean um it was very rough because we don't have no money we have to walk these distance to these shops to these record shops we have to walk from the bush all the way downtown or bump some drive, beg some drive and they take us like half a mile, let us out, we walk the rest, bump some another drive, you know. We started to check different record shops, they turned us down because, you know, we didn't look appropriate. You know, our clothes ragged, our shoes bust up, you know, with toes showing out and all of that, you know, I mean, everything going. You know, 
were beat up in two of the was members of the Bell tribe as well. Meet this member named U Boat. So he never had no funds, but he could do 145, you know. So we went and we did a 45 name, Why Worry? Which was the first 45. The road was sad and the face looked bad. I knew the tribulation, it was really sad, yo, really sad. I brought my nuts and then I say, Why worry, 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 then I can pray, I can pray. That was a Pele action <laughs> in style. <laughs> why worry? Why worry? Ah. I worry no more. Though you worry is real life, you can't. Yeah, man. Good. Good warm up, yeah? Yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Yeah, yeah man. So. Yeah, come on, yeah. That's it. The camera and crashing our boat. Go for the water. But we have to keep it afloat. This is fun. Yes. You're in trouble. Go You're in away. trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Come on, come on, come on, that was a XP nice and I feel nice for the Jordan River, you know. I rode the boat and up the river and I down the river. I don't two times and bang up two times, <laughs> but the vibe's nice, you see. Yeah, man. Why really is that experience? Yeah. Like, you know, like when you're a youth growing, you hear about Jordan, because I'm not growing a Christian home then, because I used to hear about, you know, and I hear about Jordan and this and that, and 
to the 1993 22nd night upon John River. <laughs> Why man love it, John? You know? love it, man. Yes. <laughs> And when Rasta you just feel with truth and rights and love each other as you know, love yourself and you know. It's more like a togetherness business. If you're born for whatever you're born to be, you will just be that, you know? That means if tomorrow man will wake up on the tree and we billionaires, we are still Rasta. As I say, it's not really the ear. Make you Rasta. It's the heart, you know? Yeah, man. spiritual thing. It gives good meditation, it makes you see things far away and it relaxes you, like a relaxant. You have to really know what you're dealing with, you know? Because most people take this thing off a joke, you know, see it. You know, joke thing is, is really a, a spiritual vibe, you know? And when you come with a spiritual vibe, you know, you have to come positive, you know, see it. You sit right there and look in any way you want to look when you smoke herb. You bring up the whole creation before you. And it's farming your mind like a picture. We gonna go jam it on the river bank. We gonna go jam it in a Mount Zion. We gonna go jam it in a Mount Zion. We gonna go jam it on the conquer lion. We gonna go jam it in a Mount Zion. Oh. Just Jasper would keep us together, you know. Like when Jagia work would do, you can't run away and leave it, you know. You have to just do it. And Jag bring us together for this kind of work. And it does Jasper would keep I and I together. Yes, sir. Because for the work that you have done, you shall be rewarded by the sun. One day it will have to be your payday.
is the main vehicle to freedom because music carries a message. Music is the outcry for the oppressed. It's a one system right around the world that divide the people and rule the people. It makes some rich and it makes some poor. It makes some sick, it makes some die. die. Are you feeling like way? Yeah. Come up, ready. Come up, ready. So we set the wicked soul on fire. Yes, I am. Everybody couldn't sing slackness. Some people have to sing about the writing, don't it? If everybody sings slackness, what happened? The world done. Somebody have to still shine that light. So people don't buck up and stumble, yeah? So I tell you again, it's a new wave.
Israel is a prophetic land. Israel have a whole heap of history in it, you know, where, where it belongs to everyone around the world. You know what I mean? And because it's a prophetic land where enough prophetical things happened years ago, you, you feel a different vibration in Israel. Bye-bye.